We're going to talk about the part handling operations within Mastercam and I actually have a few different files I'm going to bounce back and forth between uh, just because I like how, how the uh, stock is already set up and how it automates these features. But let's go ahead and jump off into that and get started. First thing we're going to do for our part handling, we're going to discuss the basic stock flip operation. Now, I also showed this in the previous uh, video that I've done, but we're going to go ahead and talk about it again. And we'll break this down in a little more detail. So right off the bat, we can see what active spindle we're working with. In this case, I got my left spindle. I have a geometry section here, and I could transfer this geometry if I select it, which is actually what I want to do. So I'm going to take the select button, and I'm going to select my geometry just by dragging a window. I have the option to blank out the original geometry, which I actually want to do as well. I don't want to see both of the uh, parts here inside of my file at the same time. Next, under our levels option, I can keep it on the same level as far as the geometry being transferred. I can copy to a certain level, or I can offset that geometry to be 10 levels more than my current level. In this case, I'm going to say 20 levels more. When it comes to the stock position, the very front of our part is already Z0. And by default, this is automatically populated. Mastercam has the transfer position and needs to know the new zero of my part, which if I was to flip my part around, I'll say select, would be the very front of my part here. Negative 573074. The original chuck position is already there by default, and Mastercam needs to know the final position of this particular chuck. I can use the select option here, and you'll notice that automatically my part flips around. And I can either say Q on my keyboard or I can drop down my auto cursor function and say Q here, or quadrant, excuse me. And I could tell it that I want to chuck onto that particular diameter here. So now we can see the finished diameter with a negative 2 back in Z. And I can green check OK. So if I was to put this in my top view, you can now see that our chuck is up on that area where I selected. Our part's actually down inside of the spindle. We have a little bit of stock here on the end. And my part is uh, completely flipped around. So if you need to see the previous part, you can also toggle through your operations. And you'll notice as we toggle through the stock updates as well as that stock transfer here. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my top view. We'll do a fit, and I'm going to save my part. 